Here are the steps required to set up a new build a new store site. Firstly, log into your cPanel and create a new database. Create a new username. Give the username a password. Grant the new user all privileges to use the database. And that's your database set up. Now I'm going to set up the FTP program to transfer all the files for Build a New Store onto my web server. Now as this is a blank site I'm going to create a new uh, FTP account. So the domain name is www.paintallware.com The folder I'm going to access is public underscore html and I'm going to use my FTP username and password to access this folder. And I'm going to save this as a favourite. So that's all the information for FTP. My domain name, the folder I'm going into, which on cPanel is public HTML, the username and the password, and I'm saving it as a favourite. Now then, you'll see that I already have my Build a New Store software open on the left hand side of my FTP client and this is the information that's in my public HTML directory at present in my domain name. Now I can get rid of the old index page because I don't need that anymore and HT access I'll delete that because I'm getting a new one with my new installation. I know that already. Paintballware. I'm going to install a US store so I double click that on the left hand side and open up and find all the files and folders and it's simply a case of dragging and dropping all the information that's in there. Now I'm going to stop this recording just now because this is a bit boring. You don't really need to know much about this yet. But I've got all the files from my US store safely in my public HTML directory. There's one thing that I have to do for build a new store settings to be configured correctly. They ask you to go into the cont folder there, double clicking it should open it, there it goes, and cont php which currently has permissions, that means rw means 6, r4 and r4, it needs permission set of 777. Now if I right click on that, click on the properties and you'll see it read write, read and read it needs to be changed to 777 just for a few minutes till you run the installation. Now I can disconnect from my FTP client just now and go to paintballware.com and it automatically loads install PHP so click here to install. Now my database name is now that's my cPanel username so painting underscore okay. and I put in my admin uh, username for the database and the password I assigned to this database which means you have to remember that. Server, most servers seem to run as localhost so you don't need to change that. Now I have to give this a session name so uh, I'll do that and then come back to this installation. Having put in a security code for the installation, I click the install button and get to this next screen which says click here to finish the install. I'll do that. 
installation successful. Now please do the following. Delete install PHP from your website and change the permissions on cont PHP to 644 again. So I open up my FTP client again and as I'm still in the cont directory in public HTML I right click on it again and change the properties to 644. Okay. And then I go up, back up to the public HTML folder where install PHP is and I delete that file. Delete the, yeah. Now I can close down my FTP client because I don't need that for the moment. And then I click here to log in. And the default settings are admin and bands. So log in. I don't want to remember that now. And the first thing I always do is do the security settings. I put a, a, an email address in. Username admin and a new password. And I click update security. And then I have to log in again. And that's it. Now I can view the store. And there's my blank build a new store ready to run.